How cute. Kagami Aru? Aru to Moka. Yo, what's up, TFM Nation? It's me, the TFM Monster here again, and we are back with Clash from the Elite Season 3. We also saw Jitsu Kishi Joshi Kinu Kyoshi today, third season, episode 9. This is the episode where Tsukishiro appears finally. <laughs> it's not cut out, or nor was it uh, move, you know. It's still in the same place, not a flashback or anything, or just, you know, a different introduction. You know, just like season two, Saka and Nagi to hype up the villain or next antagonist. But yeah, anyway, uh, last episode on my channel for uh, a week now, it has reached more than 3,000 views on my channel. So it reached 3,000 views, which means it's checked for that one. However, it didn't reach 150 likes, so it did not check on that one. So uh, yeah, it only reached 143 likes as of this moment. So yeah, I really thought for sure that was going to be the very first episode that's going to reach that much likes and that much views. But uh, unfortunately, it didn't. It's still the same 1,000 views and 50 likes. So yeah. I mean, last episode was peak, as expected from Studio Lurch, you know what I'm saying? I told you guys that uh, already my throat is not okay. I, I'm i not okay. I, I'm feeling a bit sick, but gotta do what you gotta do, man, for content. And uh, yeah, I, plus I wanted to watch this anime. <laughs> it's a part of me. <coughs> I got some intel from Martin. Yeah, thank you very much from uh, the preview episode reaction of uh, episode 9 of Clash of the Elite season 3 the preview um, he mentioned that there's a there's not a whole lot of staff and crew for this episode and I think it's pretty much outsourced again just like episode 4 kind of unfortunate but it is what it is and I did see the he mentioned Koenji. Um, I think uh, it got overshadowed with my hype for Tsukishira that is why I didn't even see the bad <laughs> visuals for Koenji, I'm like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I noticed. Yeah, uh, the visuals were kind of off now. And I, I did see some scenes of Saka and Agi being a bit off on the on her drawings. Uh, let's see how this goes though. But uh, yeah, hopefully the Tsukishiro scene is super hype. It's not going to be bland, <laughs> even though I uh, we think it's outsourced. Or maybe it just has low budget and low staff. Not a whole lot of staff. So, yeah. Anyway, we cannot forget the comments of the week. Alright, so, um, yeah. Anyway, um, last episode, like I said, just peak. And uh, Yamauchi finally got expelled. And Koji showing off some of his, uh, you know, abilities. Well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all know Koji is such a good, good chat, and uh, yeah, unfortunate that we got a lot of things cut out. It, although they were minor, some of them were crucial, though. So yeah, I think it had to be done because you know that's how adaptations work, and I already mentioned it in my uh, honest feelings and review. And surprisingly, it has a thousand, a hundred views already as of this moment, and yeah, I think that has the most amount of views and the most amount of likes that I received from. Uh, the honest feelings and review so uh, yeah anyway let's get on to the comments of the week <laughs> from at penguin penguin uh it's penguin <laughs> yeah from at penguin gm i don't know if that is how you pronounce it because his profile is a penguin so uh, yeah <laughs> the power of direction is insane i love his studio lurch yes the direction in the last episode was very much insane and i do love it so um, yeah, anyway, I do love the changes in some cases, but uh, I'm still not, you know, I'm kind of upset that they cut out some major things, but not a whole lot though. So um, yeah, anyway, they had to sacrifice those for the runtime of the anime. So uh, yeah, from at Aka23 Amrula, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I butchered it. 41. I was gonna scream like Manabe the moment the episode ended like that for real. <laughs> yeah, I was I was like, huh? 
<laughs> you did see my reaction, so uh, yeah, anyway. From at Pataraj, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, yeah. BV2005. I can see both of us are disappointed with that ED song or the opening song and cursed Lurch for it. <laughs> Literally. Okay, I'm gonna do something fun here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go up to five this time. <laughs> from at champion underscore 77 for me it's the best episode of season three koji was a chad in this episode indeed from at kanalka pandy i don't know if i butchered that but anyway i literally wanted to scream when i saw that ending lol <laughs> why are they why are they doing this <laughs> me <laughs> you know what screw it bonus <laughs> from at nightcore wb 4949 Hopefully I didn't butcher that. Anyway, Hirata is like, NANI? <laughs> he was trying to expel my boyfriend. I would have liked to see Koenji at least punching Yamauchi. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would have memed that one where uh, Hirata is gay meme, you know what I'm saying? Although for me, it's gotten old. But, so that's why it slipped through my mind. So yeah, I was so close to meme that. Yeah, that's why I replied on him. So uh, yeah, anyway. That's all the comments of the week so far. And uh, yeah, I know I read all your comments. So uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, don't feel bad if you didn't get a shout out today. I did a lot of shout outs today. A lot of you all have uh, commented so far on that episode. I think that has the most amount of comments for my Clash with the Elite uh, season three episode reactions. So uh, yeah, thank you for commenting. And I really do appreciate you guys are really supporting uh, my uh, my videos and my channel before we begin though we cannot forget our patreon members patreon shout out goes to obviously these two guys right here marsh and rogue knight they have been my two tfm nation members over on my patreon and they always get to see my full uncut reactions on clash with the elite uh solo leveling bottom tier character tomozaki and movie reactions like maboroshi and your name so um yeah Anyway, though, uh, I'm gonna upload my Cyberpunk Dead Runners on over on my Patreon because it's not really doing well on my channel. So, <laughs> anyway, let's see how this goes. Anyway, yeah, before we begin, please drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the post all the songs so you miss out any of my future videos. Switch uploads this on the channel. That be said, without further ado, without further delay, let's get right into it. Supreme Law, Supreme Injustice. Ooh, okay. It's okay. Wait a second. I think it is a flashback. Lamau. <laughs> Doubting herself. So there's an opening? There's no credits. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Okay, they explained it. Alright. Since the beginning. <laughs> I like her face. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> At least they showed it. <laughs> oh, that voice! This is not the voice I imagined. Oh my god. That is not the voice I imagined. <laughs> that was so deep. <laughs> I think that's the voice actor for um what's his name? From Fate, the the priest. The one I hate. <laughs> I think it is him. I'll have to take a look at the V8 later. But that's not the voice I imagined him to be. I have no idea why they played the opening in the last episode, in the ending, and then they played the opening again. Kind of unfair to be honest. By the way, I checked volume 11, I skimmed through it, they are rushing this episode. Oh no! Mm-hmm. Oh Oh 
What? They changed it? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? あやの工事気を高く。随分なことをなさるじゃありませんか。君には彼を退学させるよう指示があったはずですね。学校関係者のお骨に退学させられない以上、私のような人間を頼りたくなるのも無理はありませんけれど、理事長代理は暴力行為
<笑>ここで大学の理想的な人間は誰もいないと思うわ私自身も含めてねそれならプロテクトポイントのある彼ができるんでしょ司令塔といっても事前に作戦を他の人間が立案することはできるわ誰がやってもそれほどの差はないは
あなたなら必勝の種目くらいあるでしょ、うん、それとも望んでクラスの不信を招くそんなことで私はどうだったものならいるのよ誰にも負けない天才であることは事実だがその才能を君のために使うかどうかを決めるのは私自身だ。もうせい。ジェニスセカンドのノイアス。コーエンジ君には後で私が話してみるわ。今は様子を見ましょう。ケーヤホーキューダツドラボー。メズラシーはよね。誰かに見られたら。そのその必要性も相当薄れてきた。私と清高の関係、ちょっとずつオープンになってるわよね。いや、kind of。問題なし。全く問題ない。平田のこともある。クラスの内情が知りたい。それ、直接会って話さなきゃならないこと。いや、な、な、なんすだ。わかることもあるだろう。その前に。ああ、here we go。誕生日おめでとう。え,え<笑>誕生日だろ。いや。ちゃんと分かってたんだ。中見てもいいあ。シュー。うん。ネックレスリザーアップへへ、ボアイ。いや、ハードシェイプ。あはん。普通。うん。これ、高かったんじゃないの安くはないな。<laughs> You're gonna say the price? <laughs> the number one g i f Right, he did mention that. <laughs> he is dumb in some ways, yeah. I mean. Ow. A box of sweets? How cute. あると思うか思った通りハートはちょっと子供っぽいかな。Come on, K. 不要なら置いて帰ってくれ。だけど私の素材がいいから何でも似合っちゃうってのはある。Yeah. <笑>一応もらっておいてあげる。Just this one. それ,それでいいんだけどな。<笑> I like that they focused it on the heart shaped necklace. Interesting. They're really foreshadowing the next series of events between them. Oh, okay.、So, ah, this is page 200 plus now. Yo, they speed run this. What? Are they going to mention a conversation here? Ah. それは成長だ。精神的ではなく、心の成長に。心の成長。あいつはもっと笑顔を見せる子供だった。だが、今の鈴音は俺に依存し、模倣している。いや、that's <笑> She's literally a broke on. <laughs> Purely imitation. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. お前にとっても無視できない存在となるだろう。あいつが変われたらの話だな。<笑>あいつを変えてみようと思う。<笑>今までのようになんとなくではなく、本気で。ほう。ほう。お前がそんなことを言うとはな。もう一つ質問だが。お、oh, is he gonna bring it up? そこの立場のとっつき。お、oh, he did! <笑><笑>そのような事実はない。<笑>そうか。No, are they gonna foreshadow it? No way. しかし、お前の口からそんな普通の高校生。Oh, what they kept the Oh, what they kept the conversation。普通が一番似合う高校生のつもりだ。Okay, Mr. Regular, yeah。高校生のお前には彼女はできたのか ？No
今のところ全くお前ならスズネを安心して任せられるが。They did! そんなビジョンは見えそうで見えないな。当たり前だろう。Bro。Yeah, that cliche. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the opposite will happen, which means Ayana Koji and Suzune will date in the future. I can't believe they animated this. What? <laughs> this is not some pointless conversation in that part. I feel like it's gonna be a foreshadowing. Because if they kept that conversation, that means in year three, it's a possibility. I'm not. I'm not saying it's it's going to happen though. Okay, let's let Kinugasa Sensei cook. Okay, <laughs> even though I'm a K simp, he already simp. Chess. Ooh. Here we go. I can't wait for this one. Uh huh. This is the one I've been waiting for. A queen! I knew it, the ED. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so they they skipped one chapter, for, as far as I'm concerned. The teacher meeting discussion. I'm kind of... I have mixed feelings about the Tsukishiro scene. Because that's not what happened, by the way, in the light novel. Ayano Koji caught Sake and Nagi, and then Tsukishiro choked Ayano Koji with his hand. Not strangling him by, like... Yeah, anyway. Yeah, I have mixed feelings on that one, but like, I don't know, man. Uh, I feel like they kept that just for fan servicey reason, but I wish they could have brought in more effort in that scene because, like, eh? <laughs> I don't know, man. I have mixed feelings in this episode, but uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think, though. I mean, it may be just only me, but yeah. I mean, I'm not fully disappointed, but like, uh? <laughs> Yeah, it's just I expected more. I really did expect more from that Sukishiro scene because he he choked Ayana Koji like this, <laughs> and then he's trying to let Ayana Koji fight back, and Ayana Koji isn't fighting back because he doesn't even know if the camera is really a, showing a dummy footage or it's really working. And then they're just gonna cut out the 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 part where Tsukishiro is the one that took charge, the one that attacked first. Yeah, I'm upset that they didn't. Okay, one thing though is that at least they showed that Yano Koji was trying to catch Sake and Nagi. Okay, but then Tsukishiro was very fast. At least, okay, realistically speaking, I feel like that's way more accurate in a way. In a sense, okay, that's way more accurate if you think about it. Because if Ayana Koji did catch Sake and Nagi, then that just means Tsukishiro waited for the right moment. <laughs> yeah, but if they did it like this in the anime, you know, like Ayana Koji was tr about to catch Sake and Nagi, he was caught off guard as well. And then he, Tsukishiro just surprised attack Ayana Koji all of a sudden. I think that's way more accurate and that's way more realistic. But still, though, I didn't expect it to be like, like this. You know what I'm saying? It's not a choke. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that is all for now, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, yeah, I cannot wait for the chess match. That is the, my most anticipated episode for this entire season. They really rushed volume 11's introduction like we're now over 200 pages by the way like they adapted the epilogue of volume 10 and then they adapted 200 pages of oh yeah they did skip a lot lamau <laughs> okay yeah 214 pages eh? and then they end it with the chess so around yeah 200 plus eh? it's like 220 pages adapted for this volume <laughs> yeah uh i don't know how i feel about that but anyway yeah that is all for now though thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys on the next one peace out